back and forth and, and, and you fall in the end. What do you learn from a game like this? Um, you know, I think, you know, it shows this testament to the group. You know, it's a tough back to back, um, you know, getting in late last night after a hard fought game. Um, you know, granted, they're on a back to back as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, we battled back. We could have easily folded. You know, the first half was uh, not great by any means, particularly that first quarter. Um, and, uh, you know, we showed some resilience just to be able to battle back, kind of stick with it, chip away. Um, but, you know, it's still, still a little frustrating because we had, you know, we had a lead there in the fourth quarter and we just weren't able to hang on to it. I know you'd be happy to see, you know, all of your teammates go off, but given your relationship with Karis, seeing him get hot as you've seen, you know, plenty of times before, you know, what is that like? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, no, this is nothing new for Karis. Um, he's obviously had, you know, a ton of big games before, but he really had a cooking today. And, uh, you know, I kind of wish we could have put him in some better spots there at the end um, just because he had such a hot hand. But uh, again, you know, Memphis did a good job taking things away from him. Uh, and, you know, sort of hedging out, doubling, just getting the ball out of his hands. But, you know, a lot of that is, is more so on us, trying to put him in the right spots, uh, um, you know, where, you know, he's able to kind of get, get a little bit more room um, to facilitate and at least uh, not have to kind of go into a double. Um, so, but at, at the end of the day, you know, he played amazing, and he's really the reason why he, we've gotten the spots even, um, you know, contest to win this game. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hi, hey, Joe. Following up on that, uh, that three and a half minute stretch where you guys went cold and you couldn't really get a shot and had some turnovers. I mean, was that largely because of the defenses that they were playing and partly what they were doing to Karras or in your mind, was that you guys getting away from the game plan? Um, maybe a little bit of both. I think, uh, you know, especially, especially the end of the game is when you have to try and be the most sound, um, you know, ideal world your sound throughout the entire game but uh you know the, the end in particular you know you have to value uh every possession and um yeah i think a lot of it is definitely a testament to, to memphis in their defense you know mixing things up putting out different coverages um and you know they're a long athletic team too uh they can test a lot of shots they're in good position defensively they're very well coached um but again, yeah, a lot of that too, it falls back onto us and just mental miscues and not, you know, being sure and sound um, when we needed to be. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Joe, when you look at these last three games, uh, the way Karras has kind of stepped up with KD out and missing Kyrie for a couple of games, uh, what do you think the whole team will get out of that experience seeing Karras play the way he did last year and how do you think, you know, you can mix it in with the other two when they're back full time? Um, you know, I think we, we're going to be able to mix it in. Uh, no problem. You know, Karis was, you know, it was, it was early in the year. He's still playing great, you know, and uh, had some really good games. But I think now, you know, he's definitely finding his rhythm, especially on, on the offensive end. Um, and, uh, you know, it's certainly going to carry over, at least in my eyes, um, even when Kai and Kev are back. 